Hello everyone, welcome to my channel and in this tutorial, we are going to discuss about testing procedure in data warehousing and why it is so important while we are dealing with data warehouse. So the testing is very important for data warehouse system for making them work correctly and more efficiently. So there are three basic levels of testing which is performed on a data warehouse. So these are given here, first one is unit testing. Second one is a integration testing and third one is a system testing. So we will discuss them in detail. First one is unit testing. So in unit testing, each component is separately tested. So each module that is procedure, program, SQL script, Unix shell script is tested. And this test is performed by the developer who develops all the SQL scripts and shell scripts. Other one is integration testing. So in integration testing, various modules of the application are brought together and then tested against the number of inputs. So it is performed to test whether the various components do well after the integration. And our next level is system testing. So in system testing, whole data warehouse application is tested together. So the purpose of system testing is for checking whether the entire system works correctly according to our requirement or not. So system testing is performed by the testing team. So there is specific team to which this task is assigned. So since the size of whole data warehouse could be very large, so it is usually possible for performing minimal system testing before the test plan can be intacted. So what is the test plan that we are going to see further? Our next topic is test schedule. So as the name suggests, test schedule is the schedule which is created for implementing the testing strategy on the data warehouse. So first, the test schedule is created in the process of developing the test plan. So in this schedule, we predict the estimated time which is required for the testing of entire data warehouse system. So there are different methodologies available creating a test schedule, but none of them are very perfect because as you know, data warehouse is very complex and can be very large, which contains huge amount of data. And also data warehouse systems are evolving in nature. So as the business will evolve, the data warehouse also changes as per the requirement. So we can face some issues while creating a test schedule. So a simple problem is it may have a large size of query that can take a day or more to complete. So this query does not complete in a desired time scale. Also there may be a hardware failure such as losing a disk or human errors such as accidentally deleting a table or overwriting a large table. These challenges we can face while creating a test schedule. But we need to remember one point clearly. Due to these difficulties, it is recommended for always double the amount of time you will normally require for allowing the testing process. Our next topic is testing backup recovery. So testing the backup recovery strategy is extremely important. So here are the list of scenarios for which the testing is very essential. The first one is media failure, the loss or damage of the table space or data file, as well as log files, control files, instance failure, or a loss of archive files or table which can be happen because of the human errors and also some failures during the data failure or due to the connection issues while connecting to the server. So these are some scenarios where the testing is very essential. Our next topic is testing operational environment. So there are a number of aspects that need to be tested while testing a data warehouse such as security, scheduler, disk configuration and management tools. We will discuss them one by one in detail. First one is security. So the separate security document is required for security testing. This document contains list of disallowed operations and devising test for each of them. The next one is scheduler. So scheduling software is required for controlling daily operation of a data warehouse. So it needs to be tested during system testing. The scheduling software requires an interface 
with the data warehouse which will help the scheduler to control overnight processing and the management of aggregations. The next one is disk configuration. So disk configuration is also needed for testing to identify input and output bottlenecks. So this test should be performed with multiple times with multiple settings. And the last one is management tools. So these are required to test all the management tools during system testing. So there are some tools that needs to be tested such as event manager, system manager, database manager, configuration manager and backup recovery manager. What are these we have already seen in our previous tutorials. Our next topic is testing the database. So as the name suggests this process is carried out for testing the database. So this can be carried out in three ways. First one is testing the database manager and monitoring tools. So to test the database manager and the monitoring tools, they should be used in creation, running and management of test database. Our next way is testing database features. So there are some features we have to test such as querying in parallel, creating an index in parallel and data load in parallel. So this parallel procedures we need to perform while testing the database features. And last one is testing database performance. So query execution plays very important role in data warehouse performance. So there are set of fixed queries that needs to be run regularly and they should be tested. So to test these ad hoc queries or manually executed queries one should go through the user requirement documents and he should understand the business completely. So it takes time to test the most awkward queries that the business is likely to ask against different indexes and the aggregation strategies. Our next topic is testing the application. This process is carried out for testing the application of a data warehouse which has this following four points you need to consider while testing the applications. First one is all the managers should be integrated correctly and work in order to ensure that end-to-end -end load, indexes, aggregates and the queries will work as per the expectations and as per the re requirement of the business. Next point is each function should work correctly which are the function the data warehouse has, it should work correctly. Next one is it is necessary to test the applications over a period of time and the weekend and month end tasks should also be tested. So these key points you have to cover while testing the application of a data warehouse. Our last topic of today's lecture is logistic of the test. So the aim of a system test is to test all of these given areas such as scheduling software, day-to-day -day operational procedures, backup recovery strategy, management and scheduling tools, overnight processing and query performance. So these all areas should be tested while we are running the system test. But you have to remember one point clearly. Here the very important topic is to test the scalability. Failures to do so will leave a system design that does not work when the system grows. So this point you need to remember clearly while testing the data warehouse. So in this lecture we have covered what is a testing procedure in data warehousing and why it is important and how to carry it by understanding the three basic levels as well as we have seen how to create a test schedule, also the testing backup recovery, operational environment, databases and applications in detail. So I hope you like this video. So please subscribe to my channel and ring the notification bell to get the latest updates. Thanks for watching.